The chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, met with the advisor to the chairman of the Shura Council, Dr. Fawzia al Jeep, during which the advisor presented Mr. al Saleh with a copy of her book, 20 Years of Harvest. The chairman stressed the importance of documenting the progress of the work and achievements of the legislative authority during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He also stated that the book is regarded one of the important publications that covers on aspects of the modern history of Bahrain, which is the democratic and legislative aspect, as it documents important aspects of the Council's achievements over 20 years. The Minister of Labor, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Humaydan, met with the Minister of Labor of Palestine, Dr. Inas Al Atari, on the sidelines of the 112 International Labor Conference held in Switzerland. The meeting discussed means to enhance cooperation and review topics of common interest. Mr. Hamidan emphasized Bahrain's support for the Palestinian cause and its advocacy for the rights of the Palestinian people for freedom, dignity and justice, as well as their legitimate rights to establish an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital based on the two-state solution and international legitimacy resolutions. He underscored the kingdom's support for Palestinian labor issues in international forums. For her part, al Atari commended Bahrain's firm stance on the Palestinian cause and its efforts on Arab and international levels to protect the rights of the Palestinian people. The Supreme Council for Environment has received the ISO certification in quality management systems after passing all the work, quality standards and requirements adopted in the international ISO certification. The Minister of Oil and Environment Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, expressed his pride in the Council for obtaining this certificate, which recognizes the Council's quality of workflow. Dr. bin Dana emphasized the Council's commitment to enhancing work quality and developing it to maintain the sustainability of services. The Minister said that obtaining the certificate motivates the Council's members to continue to provide services with high efficiency, praising the quality team's efforts in promoting awareness of the importance of obtaining the certificate. Dr. Bindaina thanked the Civil Service Bureau for supporting the quality team and the Council throughout the project of implementing the best practices in the field of quality management and playing an important role in achieving this accomplishment. He also thanked the Council's employees for their diligence in participating in this achievement, wishing them further success in obtaining more internationally recognized certificates and in institutional development. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adel Fakhru, participated in the launch of the 27th St. Petersburg International Economic Forum held in Russia under the patronage of the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, with the participation of heads of governments, experts and specialists from various countries around the world. Mr. Fakhru affirmed that the Bahraini-Russian relations are experiencing significant advancements and remarkable progress in the light of the strong bilateral cooperation between the two friendly countries, strengthened by the official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Russia, which was in response to an invitation from the President of Russia, and resulted in the signing of many important agreements between Bahrain and Russia. The St. Petersburg International Economic Forum is a global platform for communication and discussion between business representatives and experts. It witnessed the participation of 17,000 participants from 130 countries. And the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adel Fakhru, met the Minister of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation, Anton Ali Khanov on the sideline of his participation in the 27th St. Petersburg International Economic Forum held in Russia. During the meeting, Mr. Fakhro stressed the importance of continuing to hold mutual meetings and visits between both countries to expand cooperation, frameworks and possibilities for joint work and projects that can be developed in all sectors, noting the importance of enhancing cooperation in a number of commercial and industrial fields and exchanging expertise with a focus on areas of trade exchange in various sectors. They also reviewed bilateral relations between both countries and the ways to enhance cooperation mechanisms in all fields, in addition to discussing issues of common interest. And the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Mr. Adel bin Abdullah Fakhro, met with the Minister of Culture of the Russian Federation, Olga Layo Bimova. 
in the presence of a number of officials on the sidelines of the 27th St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in Russia. Mr. Fakhrou praised the depth of the Bahraini-Russian relations, stressing the importance of enhancing efforts to advance the prospects of bilateral cooperation and increase the levels of trade exchange and expertise between the two friendly countries. He pointed to the attributes of the Kingdom of Bahrain as a distinguished and attractive center for global investments in light of the stimulating environment and facilities provided by the government for the investors from all over the world. A number of topics of mutual interest were also discussed within the framework of the Joint Governmental Committee which has achieved many accomplishments in developing the relations between the two friendly countries. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has reiterated the Kingdom of Bahrain's support for the initiative of the U.S. President Joe Biden to achieve a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. The ministry urged Israel and Hamas to accept the initiative, considering it an opportunity to end the devastating war that has lasted for eight months, release the hostages and detainees, and facilitate the delivery of humanitarian and relief aid to innocent civilians. The ministry has called on Israel and Hamas to, to make the necessary compromises taking into account the tragic humanitarian situation suffered by the people of the Gaza Strip and to take advantage of the positive aspects of the American initiative that can be built upon to alleviate the suffering of the people of the Gaza Strip, restore security and stability, and launch negotiations for a just and comprehensive peace in the region. The Ministry of Works has announced that the resurfacing works of Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway between Al Farooq flyover and Sif flyover necessitated the closure of one of the two lanes on stages for westbound traffic movement. The closure will be effective from Friday, June the 7th for two months. The Minister also announced that the resurfacing works on Zalag Highway inside Awali Roundabout necessitates the closure of one lane and two lanes in stages and the closure will be until Sunday, June the 9th. The Minister also announced the resurfacing works on King Faisal Highway between Budaya Highway, Naim area and Sheikh Salman Highway, Al Hawaj Junction, necessitating the closure of one and two lanes in stages in both directions as follows, closure of one lane on stages in both directions and two lanes will be provided for traffic movement during working days 24 hours. Closure of two lanes on stages in both directions and one lane will be provided for traffic movement during the weekends until Sunday. The closure will be effective starting today, June the 7th and will last for 10 days. The head of the Bahrain pilgrimage mission, Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah al qatan visited the Bahraini campaigns in Medina to inspect the conditions of the Bahraini pilgrims and their needs. al qatan praised the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to provide all aspects of care for the pilgrims during the upcoming Hajj season. He also lauded the follow-up of Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman, bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his keenness to provide all the facilities and support to ensure their safety and to perform their rituals with the ease and comfort. Al Qatan commended Saudi Arabia's tremendous efforts in supporting serving the pilgrims from all over the world to ensure that Hajj rituals are performed with ease and comfort. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment has reiterated its warning against joining any unlicensed Hajj campaign or traveling for Hajj individually without a permit to avoid the resulting legal consequences following violations of regulations and procedures. The Ministry called for the necessity of adhering to the laws and instructions, whereas performing the Hajj rituals is only possible with a Hajj permit issued by the relevant authorities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Ministry also noted that any unlicensed Hajj campaign will bear the consequences for violating the the procedures and regulating the Hajj.